don't go into debt. Now, let me ask you a question. Now, don't raise your hand. This is a rhetorical question. I, I don't want to know. It's really not my business. How many of you have right now, those watching, how many of you have a credit card in your pocket? Don't raise your hand. That is yours. Well, I have a few. But I'm going to tell you right now, I don't use them. I, my wife and I carry three different credit cards. We don't owe a dime of credit card debt to anybody. The average American today has a credit card debt of $10,000. That's average. That means some people have 20, 25, 30,000. Some have three, four, five thousand. The average is $10,000 in credit card debt. Now, how do we get there? Because when the government gets the attitude that we can spend our way to prosperity, the people follow them. Now, I'm, I'm going to tell you, I've told you this before in another class. What do you do when you get married? You rob your parents. That's what you do. Listen to me. You take that sofa. You take your bed. You take every picture you can steal off the wall. Slip lamps out and stuff them in your trunk. Maybe they won't notice. <laughs> but you don't go out and say, I want to set up a household. I have to have everything my parents have after 35, 40 years of work. You're not going to get it. My wife and I lived in furnished apartments our first few years. We didn't buy any furniture. Couldn't afford to buy anything. I remember standing in, a, in a, an appliance store and it was so hot. It was the middle of the summer. We couldn't get any sleep. Our, our, our department was not air conditioned. And it was up on like the third floor of this old house that was built about 150 years before. And it was just so hot. We, we couldn't get any sleep. So we, we, we went to each other and said, what, what if we bought a little window air conditioner and just put it in the bedroom? We couldn't afford to heat the uh, heat. Cool the whole apartment. Well, I mean, just the bedroom. And it was so funny that we're, we're in this place and we're looking at this little window thing and we didn't have any, we didn't have any cash. They were going to charge us seven, seven dollars a month for the payment. And this guy's talking to us about this air conditioner. And I looked at my wife and said, we need to talk about this. And I looked at that salesman and said, can you give us just a minute? He said, sure. So we walked over here. And we're over here huddled up talking. You know, we can afford seven dollars a month. I don't know. When are we going to get seven dollars a month? I mean, you know, I, you know, I can, maybe I can work a couple more hours at the grocery store, but I don't know. Where are we going to get seven dollars a month? And she said, "Well, we could do this. What if we did this?" And I'm sure that salesman was thinking, "Have you people lost your mind? It's seven dollars a month." But was the first time, we, the first time we'd ever gone to debt for anything. And we were just nervous as all get out about seven dollars a month. We laugh at that now. It wasn't funny then. That was a serious conversation going on over there about that $7 a month and where, where that money was going to come from. Don't go in to debt. When the economy crashes, the people that don't have debt will survive. The people that have debt will lose everything they have. Don't go in to debt. Don't buy a $35,000 brand new car. Buy some clunker you can pay cash for and get from point A to point B. Use your head. You don't have to have everything you think you have to have. Trust me. Just don't go into debt.